there i don't even want a big jing bang coming to my wedding but from there on i took youtube very seriously once i again started making money so this is like proper technical money related question 100% oh my god siri i didn't talk to you yeah, you can come and watch me drink my morning coffee Hi what's up you guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video after the longest time i'm back again in my setup filming like a sit down video for you all because itne mai back to back se vlogs kar rahi thi because meri real life mein itni sari cheeze ho rahi thi so i was capturing all of that for you all and there was consistent vlogs definitely and i know you all love and enjoy my vlogs but i missed this i missed my setup i missed being here in my studio sitting and chatting with you all but today while i give you my life update i decided to do my hair instead of my makeup because this is my new hair my short hair that i'm so excited to style abhi tak maine bilkul bhi styling nahi kiya heat styling nahi kiya apne baalon pe so i want to experiment with some new looks today and see what is like the look that flatters my face cut the most with this short new hair i'm really liking the volume and fullness this is my natural wavy hair without any any styling heat styling whatsoever when i wash my hair and let it air dry only apply serum which i've really been enjoying but i'm excited to see what a little straightening a little curling a little crimping can do to my hair and for that today i have a very cool equipment to share with you all this is cas 5 in 1 multi styling kit so this is like one one heat rod which has five attachments there's a straightener a crimper two types of curling wands on this and also like a comb brush so there's a lot you can do with this styling kit so i'm going to demo this for you all we're going to try this out together while i also answer some of your hot juicy questions so if you're interested then continue watching but if this is the first time you've come onto my channel then hi i'm sara i make beauty and lifestyle content here on youtube take a moment hit that subscribe button join the sara squad i'm sure you love it here and also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified and with that we can dive straight into this this is going to be one long video let me tell you because i am not very used to styling my hair and talking and chit chatting so inside this is a 5 in 1 multi styling kit you get this main body like i told you this has a wire attachment to it and also it has the power button and a squeeze over here so this squeeze is what is important for every single attachment that you will be putting on this there are five attachments that you get the first one being the straightening attachment which i think i'm going to get the most use out of because i love the look of straight hair on my face and i haven't yet straightened my short hair so i'm very excited to see what it looks like over here inside you just have to match this internal thing to the inside ka gap and that's it just click press and the attachment is on it's no rocket science very easily attach ho jata hai once you've connected it to heat of course you can press the power button and i really like the straightening pads on this the pinch and grasp is also very easy to use so i'm going to first start with straightening we've also got crimping plates with this now this is something super fun because crimp adds a lot of volume to your hair and adds texture and dimension to your hair a lot of hair stylists have used crimpers on me but this would be my first time trying this out so i'm excited for it you also get a conical curler so this will give you more of a tapered look and you get a regular 19 mm diameter curler so this is for your more bouncy more full looking curls and you get a brush comb attachment with that because overall it's so fulfilling in itself like ye chhota sa dabba itna bada bhi nahi hai aur kafi sare cheeze aur kafi sare looks achieve ho sakte hai travel karne ke liye this is the best thing like if you have a destination wedding or something it's super good i'm starting off with the straightener of course i'm going to plug it to the power over here. Sure. Like I said, my hair is air dried, so I'm taking a little bit of the L'Oreal B6 Enforcer. This is what I use as heat protectant. It's from the series Expert range. It's something my hair stylist has recommended I do. I'm just going to apply this thoda sa on the ends of my hair, a little more on the side of my hair. I'm going to start by partitioning my hair. So, of course, smaller chunks work better. So, I'm just going to roughly take it with my nails. I don't do a lot of like tail comb and stuff. When your hair is shorter, it's so much more convenient. Dude, I was so fed up of styling my long hair. It's not even funny because it not time and effort and arm strength lagta hai na like straightening long hair needs bicep strength that I simply did not have. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to take my clip on and section my hair over here now that i have these two segments i'm going to comb it out jab tak baal comb kar rahi hu i'm going to turn the power on you can see the red light flicker over here so you know that the machine is on i'm going to keep it to like preheat a little bit while i just comb this portion of my hair 
Okay, I'm going to take this first question from Nidhi uh, because it has a lot of likes as well. So a lot of y'all want this to be answered. The way you communicate with people around you, you seem extremely unapologetic and vocal about what you want. That quality is what pulled me on this channel. Long story short, please give some tips regarding how we can learn to be our own selves without being a people pleaser all the time and put forward our opinions without worrying about judgments. Love from Himachal. So, so much love to you, Nidhi. This is a very great question because this is a personality trait that I have developed over time. I think I went from being a people pleaser uh, to being somebody that kept her identity intact while also having a lot of people around me. Like I have my set of best friends, my set of very close family that I hold super, super close. But at the same time, I'm not rude or diss other people in my life or other people who walk into my life. Now, how I do this, I'm going to share with you all. It's something that I've learned over time and I feel like it comes very handy when you want to meet new people and slowly, slowly start socializing and widening your circles. Like I said, this pinch and grasp is super simple. So I'm going to start from the root of my hair. Okay, so big big life lesson over here is that when somebody is sharing something with you okay when you are part of a communication or a group if you want to be involved and respected and want to be a part of that group you have to put your point forward tumko khud ke opinions ki respect khud pehle lani padegi like you need to understand that you are valued in your community that you are valued aur tumhare opinion ki kuch value hai aur isi baat mein jab tum dusro ke opinion sun rahe ho na to sun ke liya karo it's not always necessary ki tumko wo apply karna hai like yes i am a certain type of way everyone can see that everyone sees and watches my videos and understands ke ha theek hai she to thinks like this only but kal ko koi shaadi mein main koi mehman ko milu and if that auntie is giving me some sort of unsolicited advice or opinion like that day i had this one aunt visit to meet my dadi and she came home and then she started asking me ke abhi to sab kar liya hai abhi teri shaadi kab hogi kab teri shaadi pe wo teri friend mehndi lagayegi aisa matlab indirectly she was hinting ke main ladka kab dhoondu okay that was her point and internally in my head i was screaming like i was like oh my god and i told her also nicely ke abhi to mujhe bahut kuch karna hai main to bahut choti hu ye maine unko indirectly bola but like you know a lot of people don't agree to the fact of age being or this and they want girls to get married early and all of that to main kaun sa unko baith ke pura bhashan sunane wali thi ke nahi aunty women empowerment you need to understand this that i have seen her after years and it literally did not make any difference to my life so i did not choose to put my opinions on to her right so i was like ha ha aunty dhoondo na aapko milega ladka to bata dena meri height ka milega to bata dena aisi masti mein i told her if she was to find a guy also and if i was to meet a guy also what is the worst that would happen right i didn't have anything to lose you know what i mean so i'm still my unapologetic self and my opinion does matter and i respect my opinion and very subtly i put it forward ki you know i'm young i'm still ambitious ab mujhe bahut kuch achieve karna hai life mein but at the same time when i'm in an educated crowd of a lot of smart people who i'm talking to who have a lot of opinions and if i'm talking to some like smart person in my circle and in my friend group and they are sharing something with me and suppose i disagree you know तो आई विल नेवर अगेन दिस देर ओपिनियन कि नहीं तुम गलत हो दो ओपिनियन सही हो सकते हैं तो उनका सुनने के बाद ऑल्सो आई कैन बी लाइक यू नो बट लुक एट इट लाइक दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट बट दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट like in business for example a lot of people give you a lot of opinions some people are here just to make money which is not a wrong thing business is about making money it's not charity right but i am super passionate about my product so a lot of actual business people find it super stupid ke main itna time apne product development mein dal rahi hu jabki i should be focused towards scaling my business which they are also right on their part they are not wrong but then i try to explain them the other part ke mera wo sirf soul सोर्स ऑफ इनकम नहीं है आई एम अट्यूबर फॉर मी प्रोडक्ट रियली मैटर्स मैं इतने प्रोडक्ट्स देखती हूँ मार्केट में अगर मेरा भी प्रोडक्ट इज जैसे ना एवरेज प्रोडक्ट जो हर जगह मार्केट हो रहा है और बिकने की कोशिश कर रहा है एंड इज ट्राइंग टू स्टैंड बट इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट एंड दर इज इनकन्सिस्टेंसी इन माई प्रोडक्ट ना तो क्या फायदा यू नो तो मैं भी गलत नहीं हूँ और वो लोग भी गलत नहीं है जस्ट कमिंग फ्रॉम टू डिफरेंट प्लेसेस एंड इन सच अ एडुकेटेड सर्किल एवरी ओपिनियन इज रिस्पेक्टेड सो दैट इज हाउ यू बिकम योर सेल्फ फर्स्ट यू स्टार्ट हैविंग योर ओन ओपिनियंस एंड रिस्पेक्टिंग योर ओन सेल्फ एंड रियलाइजिंग योर ओन सेल्फ वर्थ कि तुम अगर बात करोगे किसी को इंटरेस्ट है तुम्हारी बातें सुनने के लिए 
while i say that i love the straightening that this has given me you see how smooth my straightening is it's come so well i have used this straightener a lot of times before for a quick straighten this is really good because it's lightweight and it happens really fast another thing is that it's not overheating at all you can't see fumes and dhua coming out of this this is great because a lot of the times that i use straighteners even when they are at their lowest temperature setting they preheat so much and they start burning your hair so this is not doing that to my hair at all one quick tip that i would want to give you all is always keep consistent pressure from your root till your tip like don't come till the end and leave your straightening like pura niche tak na heat lagao taki tumhare baal frizz up na ho that's like something i have learnt the hard way ki agar tum pura hi straightening kar do niche mein aake chhod do na kyunki niche ke baal kabhi kabhi straight hi hote hain so it will frizz very very easily due to the humid weather so yeah keep that in mind on each section of your hair you just need like two consistent rounds and you'll have like really sleek hair Okay Parusha asks what is the most valuable and sentimentally attached thing you have and love your videos I feel like I'm not sentimentally attached to any thing my most valuable possession I would say is fudge like I know he's not a possession he's literally a whole living being but you can take everything away from me everything that i have built also so far all the luxuries of life this house everything and i will still work it up from scratch cuz maine kiya hai maine literally ye sab khud scratch se build kiya hai i know i can do it again even if you take it all from me i can do it again but fudge came in my life I don't know how to explain. He came in my life at a time when I did not have a purpose. I did not know what I was doing. I was the worst worst of my physical health. I was dealing with my health condition of fibromyalgia, diagnosed as clinical depression, and I begged my parents to get me fudge and to just, you know, give me that purpose to live again because I needed that reason to wake up every morning. In my dreams, I would have nightmares basically and I would feel like killing myself in my nightmares. So I was afraid that I will kill myself in my sleep. and that is something that i i was at my lowest like i can't even fathom ki main usme se kaise nikli hu he came into my life when i literally had no purpose no nothing i should wake up only to give him water i should wake up only to feed him my goals became that basic of taking care of another living being and that's what gave me purpose in life he's my most valuable my most sentimentally attached like fudge is like my child and i'm very very he's not a thing but i don't think i'm sentimentally attached to any thing that i own you can see how just like two two swipes of this straightening is enough ek to right mujhe bahut difficult padta hai straightening karne ke liye but i like this wand quite a lot do bar ghuma diya na that's enough for completely straight and sleek hair okay shweta ghosh has asked me an interesting this or that open to trying everything at least once or don't want to get out of the comfort zone if i know it won't work out i am very adventurous i love love trying new things and i would go out of my comfort zone to try things that are like unconventional and not done just because i want to see how it is and how it makes me feel and do i want to do it again you know so i definitely think I am the one to step out of my comfort zone. I suck at this sectioning bit, okay guys, please don't judge. I know it sounds really crazy given the fact that I am very adventurous. I feel like I want to try out curling this section of my hair because straightening to has worked really well. So now I'm going to change this attachment. Sabse pehle to of course put the power off. You don't want to touch a hot attachment. This portion where the attachment is uh, starting, waha par it does not overheat at all. This is the portion which is slightly hot. It's not very tapta garam. So tumko wapas ye buttons press karne hai. I'm just going to hold and pluck it out that's all you have to do okay and i'm going to next use this attachment over here that is the 19 mm diameter curler and straight up just put it here yeah that easy it's just press and click and you've got it again i'm going to turn the power on and keep it to heat for a little bit best part about the attachments is that whatever you're in the mood for you can decide as for that if you want like a fully bouncy curl look you can go for that if you want like straighter hair you can go for that now in this i'm going to like again comb and section my hair nivedita najuk has asked your qualifications and about your family so that i can connect more with you i know there's a very large like new audience that has joined the sara squad because we've gone from 200k to 300k really fast so you all might not know what my qualifications are i have done my bachelor's in occupational therapy while i curl i just want to say that curling want inside so that it adds more volume and just curl like this put your hair around it 
and once done you just have to leave and release the pinch so I'm going to keep this over here for like 5 seconds and yeah bachelors in occupational therapy is an allied health science I have KM hospital se, GS medical college se padai ki hai. it was a 4 and a half year course so after doing that and while doing that I did my YouTube channel also Matlab, I was creating content on YouTube and now I'm only a YouTuber full time and I also have my business I own and run Impulse Coffees an e-commerce store so that's yeah pretty much my qualifications and what I do in life in general in short basically about my family as much as you watch my vlogs you will connect and relate to us as a family and me as a person and I think that's like the best way to connect and relate to us you should be consistently watching our vlogs so you'll get all the gup and tea and really fun and I think one way to describe my family would be we are really really open minded and I really like these bouncy curls they're so cute I've done curls with this curler very many times before and they fast curl kar dete hain, baalo ko. So curls ke liye to mujhe sabse best lagta hai use karne ke liye because I don't have another good curler and the curling attachment on this one is one of the best. 19mm is actually perfect for that bouncy look because once I'll open these curls now they'll be looking fabulous. Over here you can also take like bigger chunks of hair because it's like a bigger wand as opposed to the conical one. Like conical one is thoda patla, usme tumko tapered look milega. Here you can take bigger chunks of hair. I hate curling right side of my hair. It never falls through well. Sarah, do you have few questions firstly what do you feel about your Sara squad what do I feel about my Sara squad I feel they're the most amazing people to have I love my community I love taking such quick Q&A's and communicating with y'all because y'all add so much value to my life and I love the impact I can create via my Sara squad Second question is what's the update on the house? Are we having the same SSS or are we shifting? Very, very good question because I know a lot of y'all need an update on my moving out status. I rented in June of 2021. So May of 2022, my term technically ends. And while I rented this house, I knew that it was only for 11 months. A lot of y'all will say that I knew 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 one apartment just samne hi khali tha mere parents ke samne wala ghar and mai puri convinced thi usko lene ke liye uska rent bhi kam tha but it was fully in builder condition so there would be a lot of work i would have to do in that house but i was mentally sort of prepared to do it because i was like theek hai kahin na kahin se to start karna hai and what is better than literally living in front of my parents because like fudge can just run and go and it's damn convenient and very easy but then suddenly uh, one evening my dad is like ek aur ghar dikha rahe uncle dekh lete ek aur do teen ghar maine dekhe the but it was fully furnished and their rent was much more and more so we didn't need fully furnished house we didn't need it I wanted IKEA movable furniture which is why I decided to not rent those houses so yeah I love my curls and I'm really liking my hair I'm obsessed I can't stop looking at myself in the viewfinder these have come so tight and so nice I'm not opening it out completely I feel like I'm gonna curl all my back hair also now that everything just looks even otherwise I'm gonna look super funny at the end of this my landlord knew that he's gonna come to live over here after 11 months I have the sweetest landlord okay like my landlord is the best like I was so lucky with this house honestly so the basic reason why I have to leave is because my landlord needs to come back to stay over here he bought this house for himself only uh, he didn't intend to put it on rent at all but his wife's office quarters where they stay currently is going to get like you know because if she gets retirement then the office quarters will get terminated and unko ye ghar lena padega aana padega rehne ke liye isliye unhone ghar liya in the first place for themselves but she didn't get retirement that year and they could put the house on rent so that was the situation so basically my housing situation is only dependent on uh, my landlord's wife getting retirement or not getting retirement to be very very honest with y'all and um, like I did a current little bit of house hunting lately because I need to be mentally prepared although my landlord has told me I will never throw you out I will give you like that one month to find a good house and a good space but yeah building me there is no good apartment on rent at the moment which sucks so yeah difficult to hone wala hai. nothing comes like super easy to anybody but I'm just grateful that I lucked out with this house being my first house because your first house is always important to you it's always valuable to you this house 
course has taught me so much and it's definitely definitely been like the best way to begin my independence journey if you know what i mean you know sara francis asks what was the budget to start impulse coffees at and at what age did you start earning and how much was your first income so this is like proper technical money related question i'm going to i love how my curls are looking dude i'm liking curls my short hair even though i think like short up your hair does not make curls look flattering it's looking really flattering if you feel like the light is dimmed a little bit that's because my godox m1 at the back has fused out charging khatam ho gayi usme se koi baat nahi okay for this portion of my hair i'm very confused should i do like straightening which no i won't i won't do straightening i want to try the crimp iron or i also want to try like the conical line so i think i'm going to turn the power off and wait for this attachment to cool down because this is not like the straightener straightener is easy to change cuz this portion is like insulated but hot iron ko main aisa rakha na to pura hath jal jana hai so thoda main cool hone dungi and tabhi tak i'm going to change the crimping plates over here so this over here that you have if you can see you can just pluck these out i have like long nails so you can pluck these plates out and this attachment has completely cooled down now and then you've got your crimp plates over here So you simply slide it in. It's that simple. You just slide your crimping plate in and lock it in place. And the same goes for this one. That simple. So now this straight now has become your crimper. That's so freaking cool. This section that I've separated, I'm gonna add texture with the crimping iron over here. It will look really good and add more volume, so it will allow me to like puff this portion. I'm trying something new out with my hairstyle. Since my hair is short again after really long, after 2016, I'm excited to see what are the different ways I can style it up. And it's so much fun to be using all of this to answer Sarah's question or Sarah's question about the budget that was there to start Impulse Coffee. So to be very honest, I'm gonna first start with the question at what age did I start earning? So my first proper proper salary. from youtube i'll count i did do a lot of like part time jobs back in school and college and you know aisa pocket money type 1000 2000 1000 2000 mujhe idhar udhar se aate rehta tha but proper job and income flowing from youtube i would say flowing because my first paycheck did come um in like 8 months of starting the channel which was 5000 rupees but it literally stopped 2 mahine baad only because youtube ke monetization rules badal gaye to uske fir ek aur saal baad i started getting paycheck because i reached that target a year later so overall it took me 2 years to start making money from youtube it was 5000 in 3 months in 3 months i should get 5000 in 3 months i should get 5000 i was at the age of 20 at that time yes i was at the age of 19 and a half 20 if i'm not wrong i don't remember the exact year so don't quote me on that but that was the amount the figure that i was earning and then that but from there on i took youtube very seriously once i again started making money from it all the four years of my journey i've been consistent and put out one video i started with one video a week then i made it two videos a week and now i post three videos a week so i was always consistent and even with the money or without the money i just became more target oriented and more focused towards uh making sure that i am getting revenue out of this also and this is not just a passion project because at that time i was trying to earn money to fund my education i wanted to go abroad for my masters so i decided ki jitna bhi i can earn in this one year of 20 to 21 mujhe 21 ki age mein i had to go abroad because tabhi tak covid nahi hua tha aur tabhi tak i was still going to go abroad for my masters that was my plan of action i was like even 5000 5000 karke maine 20 25000 bhi agar jama kar liye there will be some contribution from my side to was my education which i wanted to give but oh my god life tick takes a 360 and youtube kept on escalating escalating and doing better for me while then the pandemic happened and uh, everything shut down and then going abroad was a dream that no longer was a fruitful dream it was not something that i could explore or think about also so i have started making good enough money from youtube to sustain it as a job realizing that you know on everything there is a cap like social media is now booming i don't know kitne saal ho there's no guarantee with these kind of jobs it makes you good money when it's making money but you you can't tell for sure if you'll be making money from this source of income for the next 50 years right it's not that guaranteed the way my profession as a doctor would be but at the same time it allows you to create an impact on a much larger scale and i'm much happier being a youtuber that's the reason i feel like continuing and i don't ever feel the need to stop youtube because i love love 
what the power of this audience can do you know and i always want to use it in the right way i'm just going to take this and change my attachment over here this is like a mitten that uh, i have and mai isko leke isko idhar plug kar rahi hu this is the only like i would say thing that you have to keep in mind ki kabhi bhi garam hot iron ko mat change karna garam attachment ko mat change karna wait for it to cool abhi tum pagal ho jaise mere jaisa to ek hi baal mein straight curl crimp sab nahi karoge but just in case if you want to be that and do that madness you'll have to wait for the attachments to cool down i align the internal khacha over here with the external knob over here and fix so now i have the crimping plates attached i'm going to turn the power on on these i've seen hair stylists do it on me but i have never crimped my hair before so basically just going to keep it hold the press for 3 seconds Let's see what it looks like ooh it basically like adds like a texture to your hair Yeah, so like I was saying, being an OT is an amazing job. It's not something that I don't envision myself doing. It's just that the kind of jobs I was getting at clinics or NGOs, I was seeing the same eight kids for eight hours every day, and I felt stuck, and I was not making a difference. And that feeling is something I can't digest. Like on YouTube, in one hour, I can reach lakhs of people, right? I know that's not possible as an OT. I'm not completely ditching the idea that I'm not an occupational therapist anymore. I do still address myself. yes i might not be up to date with what technology is being used today and what people are doing because ab maine time se padhai nahi ki hai like i am not dude i love how this looks this looks so kareena kapoor from the 90s kind of vibe i want to do this on the entire front section i know this hairstyle might look crazy max but i think it's super fun this is so fast also yeah wow basically what my agenda is to be able to create that kind of audience on youtube so that i can use my medical degree ka information also to put to good use like i do a lot of mental health collaborations and videos and i use my medical knowledge to pass it in the right way through my videos i know i don't make medical related videos and i'm not using my degree to my full potential on my channel but that's not why i started my channel i started my channel to build a community i know i can use this community and what i earn through youtube and impulse coffees and everything and make a larger difference and help a larger audience and make a difference on a much bigger scale than what i could doing an 8 hour shift as an ot in a ngo or a clinic where they were literally making me see the same eight kids whose lives are also very valuable and it's again like i say it's a very very noble profession and takes a lot of patience it's just that mujhse nahi ho raha tha boss mujhse nahi ho raha tha i gave up it was sort of like maybe you can call it i failed at the job i was not fit to do that but i was not fit to do a job i was just not fit to make difference to only those eight kids ka life when i know ki i can make difference to a lot more people with what i do i'm still very young and i have a lot of dreams and i have crazy ambitions and i feel like as i'll accomplish them you'll really understand what i mean when i say these things you know with what budget did impulse coffee start i'm not going to give you an exact figure cuz it's literally all of my savings and plus a small loan that i took which i did pay back eventually but it's like a seven figure investment it's mad amount of investment this is not small money i'm very confident in my company and i'm very confident in impulse and in what i've created as a product like the one thing that i have been confident in the entire journey about is my coffee and i think that's what matters i can market it and i can put it on marketplaces and do a lot of that but uh, my product matters and it's worth the money so shreya has asked me a similar question that do i plan to go abroad what is my future plan or do i want to continue business here in india so no i don't plan to go abroad i do want to travel a lot it's something that i definitely want to do i think you learn so much when you travel the world i think traveling is super cool and a very great way to meet a lot of new people you know how much i love meeting new people so travel is definitely something on my bucket list but i no more see myself going abroad to study and settle there that used to be a dream of mine but i have left it to be here in india to do my business to stay with my family to make a change over here which i know i can with time with the right resources with the right voice 
I can make the difference I want to make on a much larger scale and I am only only aiming towards that. Vedashree asks what are your plans for marriage like a big royal wedding or simple but elegant wedding by the way big fan here I'm just like you I'm 14 and I want to be like you in the future. Thank you so much. I see all these weddings with all these traditions and itne sare customs and it's super fun to attend but I feel like meri shaadi mein I don't want all this. Like I want a beach wedding. I'm a beach baby you all know that. In my head I know what I want. It's a small elegant really beautiful wedding by the beach with only only my closest closest people there I don't even want a big jing bang coming to my wedding I think I'm going to get that that is like my dream it's it's going to be beautiful and I feel so retro and 90s like only this much of my hair feels like Kareena Kapoor from the 90s then you take the curl portion out and then you straight the straightening out and I know it's all over the place but I'm going to take my crimp and I'm going to puff it up. Jitna bhi crimp kiya hai na. The crimp really looks very good. Like I want to crimp my complete hair once. Let me know if you want to see that. Maybe I can do it on YouTube shorts. Okay, I'm going to pin my hair over here in a puff of sorts. All this volume you can see is only because of the crimp iron. and the crimp you can see the feel and texture over here but i want to like use the conical curler and show you all what that attachment will give you an outcome like because we've seen the 19 mm curler give us this bouncy feel that we have on our hair at the moment ye sare crimp wal bhi idhar hi hai to in sab ko hum curl kar dete jo idhar pade hai sare baal i have to on the power off and i'm changing the attachment over here finally going to use the last attachment which is the conical curler again just matching the inside ka khacha with the attachment wala khacha okay i'm just going to quickly use the 19 mm curler on these portions and these bangs and a little bit of the crimp that has collected over here these tools are really fast and quick to heat like you don't have to wait for them to heat which i like with this curler there's no pinch to it you simply curl and hold and yeah once you've released you get this more of an open wave sort of a curl you know i kind of really like the effect of this curl a lot more we're going to do this on a longer strand of hair so that you'll get a better idea aditi has asked how do i afford my current lifestyle is it through youtube or paid partnerships it is through paid partnerships it is not through youtube youtube's revenue is not that much like you can see after 2 years it took me 5000 basically if you put it to comparison then youtube's revenue is always lesser than paid partnership so you have to do sponsorships to like you know afford or do this as a career and take it seriously i'm definitely very cautious and careful of the brands i associate with in partnership because i do understand and value my consumers and my audience and respect that but at the same time i can't just say no to all sponsorships because that way i will not be able to sustain myself and be able to afford anything at all or pay my rent even itna bhi basic bhi nahi ho payega i really like how this curls are these are like longer as opposed to like the curls you got from the 19 mm they are more conical these i feel are more bridal and this is more beach wavy you know the difference like this is more everyday and this is happening much faster also isme wo pinch winch bhi karne ki zarurat nahi hai tumko but khali careful rehna don't get a chatka from the hot iron because hot irons give you chatka and how dude i regret straightening my niche ka hair because i really like how my curls are looking jaws going to keep my curls in front and that pretty much completes it i really like this wand this definitely has to be my favorite attachment because i like the beach wave look it's more every day and i think i'm going to be using this one a lot more i was only using the 19 mm curl Love before, but yeah, I like this more. Ooh, look at that spray! <laughs> wow. It's about how much hair you take. You know, if you take like lots. then you'll get a beach wave effect if you take less less then you'll get like a springy curl because this is conical it's more versatile 
All right, you guys, that completes it. This is my first time actually sitting with like full curls in my uh, new hair. My hair is not this curly naturally, and I really like the look. Of course, full straight hair also would look bomb. Like if I had full sleek straight hair, my hair would look much longer. But whatever it is, this styling does stay, and it's very very efficient for what it is. Full full value for money, one hundred percent recommend. I think it's a great tool to have travel with to put in all your kits. It's literally something that you should have. If you're a girl who styles your hair quite a lot, then it's really good as well. In any of the tools, you must have noticed it's. Quick to cool and quick to heat, so it's fast and at the same time it's not like dhua dar. मेरे को बिल्कुल भी मतलब धुआं इधर से emit नहीं हो रहा है, so it does not overheat itself. It does not have temperature settings, but it's not overheating. So I definitely think it's full value for money and it's a bomb equipment to try out. I'm gonna leave the link that you will need in the description box, so don't forget to check it out. I would also like to thank Siska for partnering with me for today's video. That was it for this video, you guys. I really hope you all enjoyed. I am really liking my curly hair look on my short hair. I did not see myself enjoying curly hair more than straight hair. Straight hair is something I've done so much when my hair was longer, so I'm really liking this curly, beachy moment that's happening over here. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think? Do you like curly hair more on me or do you like straight hair more on me? But nevertheless, I think this is such a fab, fab equipment to have. It's such an efficient piece of equipment to have in the first place because all of the attachments worked brilliantly. It did not overheat or become any dhua dhar, you know, like. It was not burning my hair. Never did I feel that happen. But at the same time, all the curls are still so tight and so very well kept. Like it's not frizzing up anywhere. Neither are my curls frizzing up, and neither is my straight hair over here frizzing up. Everything is like sleek and very well in place. So I definitely think it's something you should check out, especially if you're a person who styles your hair quite a lot. This Cisco Five in One hair styling equipment definitely gets a complete thumbs up for me. Full value for money and a must have in your beauty styling kit. I'm gonna leave the link for this in the description box for you to check out. I would also like to thank Siska for partnering with me for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed catching up with me after a really long time, just heart to heart and in person. I know a lot of y'all face a lot of insecurities and keep asking me where I get the confidence from, and y'all have a lot of questions around that. But I want to tell all my teenage and younger audience specifically that just believe in yourself. Believe that your time will also come to shine if you keep working on your. self and hard on yourself okay on your emotions on your career on where you're taking your life become a little more focused and channeled and driven as opposed to being all over the place and allow yourself time as you're growing this is not a rat race koi bhi competition mein nahi hai tum apne aap ke best version banna chahte ho tum koi aur nahi banna chahte ho a lot of you all say you all want to become like me please don't be like me don't be like me you all want to be the best version of yourself wherever you are with whatever you have make the best of that and i'm sure you all are just like 13 14 15 you're going to shine when you all come in like your 23 24 you're like already brilliant for thinking that you all want to be amazing when you grow up okay so have the right mindset and it will change your life if you like this video don't forget to give it a big big thumbs up for today's video sars ko shout out goes to ratna bhattacharya thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sars Sport shout out, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon right next to it, and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sara Squad. And you get a chance to be a part of my next video, Sara Squad shout out. I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys, love you.